Isabel Wilkerson, The Warmth of Other Suns, The Epic Story of America's Great Migration. Welcome to a captivating journey through The Warmth of Other Suns, which explores the incredible story of America's Great Migration. The book highlights the diverse experiences and motives of the millions of black men and women who left the American South in search of a better life in the North during the period from 1915 to 1970. Through the real-life accounts of three individuals, Ida Mae Brandon Gladney, George Swanson Starling, and Robert Joseph Pershing Foster, we delve into the complex reasons, historical context, and consequences of this massive migration. As you read through this summary, you will gain a deeper understanding of the trials and triumphs faced by black Americans seeking freedom from the oppressive Jim Crow laws, in the hopes of creating a better future. The Great Migration, a movement of many reasons. The Great Migration, a massive movement of around 6 million black Americans from the South to the North between 1915 and 1970, was caused by a variety of factors. Although Jim Crow laws played a significant role, personal reasons, as well as the recruitment of cheap labor during World War I, also contributed to the migration. While the Great Migration was not a unified movement, it affected nearly every black American and transformed the country. In the next parts, the book explores the stories of three migrants from different waves of the movement. A Journey Northward Ida May and her family left behind the poverty, exploitation, and violence of the racist South to seek a better life in Illinois. Married at a young age, Ida May and her husband George worked as sharecroppers for a small sum of money each year, which was never enough. The Great Depression only made things worse as the worth of their labor decreased. George's cousin's brutal assault by a white mob was the final straw that spurred them to leave everything behind and move north. The couple boarded a Jim Crow car for a northbound train and headed towards a new life, away from the poverty and the dangers of the South. The Story of George Starling George Starling, a black man from Florida in the 1930s, dreamed of attending college to create a different life for himself. However, due to financial constraints, he had to return to his hometown and work odd jobs to support his family. He became a labor organizer and led strikes to demand better working conditions for fellow pickers, earning a reputation as a troublemaker. Concerned for his safety, he left Florida for New York, boarding a train that was no longer segregated once he crossed the border. George's journey is a testament to his courage and perseverance in the face of adversity. A Quest for Freedom In the 1930s, the high-minded and ambitious Foster family lived in Monroe, Louisiana. Madison Foster, the school principal, and his wife, Audie, sent their elder son Madison to medical school, an exceptional achievement for a black family at the time. Pershing Foster, Madison's younger brother, was under pressure to follow in his brother's footsteps. Pershing took to the outward personality to stand out and went to Morehouse College, where he excelled in his studies and won the president's daughter's heart. Pershing went on to become a brilliant military surgeon, but Jim Crow laws in the South prevented him from practicing medicine. Consequently, he decided to leave and start again in Los Angeles, where he could find more freedom for himself and his career. In 1953, Robert Pershing Foster moved to L.A. with just a dollar in his pocket, full of hope and ambition for the life he wanted. Ida May's Journey to the Urban North when Ida May moves to Chicago with her young family from the rural South in search of better opportunities, she finds herself struggling to find a place in a crowded, racially divided city. Despite the challenges, she becomes part of the new urban black working class, eventually finding work as a hospital aide and experiencing newfound freedom as she casts her first vote in the 1940 presidential election. George Starling's Journey George Starling finds freedom in Harlem and becomes a train attendant, witnessing the Great Migration. He helps black migrants as a counselor and guide, but is reminded of the violence of the Jim Crow South when his friend is killed by a bomb. Despite this, he pushes back against the system and encourages equal treatment for black train passengers after the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Robert's Journey to Success Robert, a black migrant, 
faced initial difficulties in L.A. and had to work a demeaning job to bring his family to California. Despite a rocky marriage, he made a name for himself as a reputable doctor, and his career boomed. Robert even fixed Ray Charles's hand, which ultimately led to his inclusion in the famous musician's song. Robert's success story is a testament to his hard work and determination. The Pains of Relocating Black migrants faced numerous challenges when seeking a better life in northern cities during the Great Migration. Ida May, George, and Robert are some of the black migrants who left the South in pursuit of a better life in the northern cities. Leaving behind their familiar lives, which sometimes meant abandoning family, friends, and spouses, these migrants believed that anything was better than their initial circumstances. However, their dreams of living in a carefree northern land were quickly thwarted. Many northern cities actively encouraged black labor from the south, especially during the two world wars. Yet, upon arrival, black workers found that they were not welcomed with open arms. Despite being slightly better paid than in the south, most black southern migrants were exhausted due to their jobs as factory and service workers. Most lived in overpriced and stuffy apartments in all-black neighborhoods, creating an effectively segregated community. The Great Migration tells stories of failure, loss, and heartbreak unique to each migrant. Ida May experienced firsthand the devaluation of black neighborhoods when her family moved to the south side of Chicago in the late 1960s. Unfortunately, their white neighbors soon deserted the district, causing the value of their property to plummet. In New York, George experienced resentment towards the South and struggled with his impulsive marriage to Inez. His son fell victim to drug addiction. Robert had an outwardly successful and flamboyant lifestyle but struggled with a lifelong inferiority complex. By the end of his career, he gambled so much that he regularly won or lost $10,000 in one night. Despite the struggles of the migrants, they never regretted their decisions. Their hopes of a better life were their guiding forces, and the Great Migration provided hope for future generations. The Great Migration, an expression of freedom. The Great Migration witnessed an exodus of southern black Americans to the north, with nearly half living there by the end of the movement. Although analyses reveal poverty, crime, and other crises, leaving the South held deep meaning for black southerners. It was an assertion of their independence as American citizens a status that many white people in the South actively rejected. And despite the North being far from the promised land they had hoped for, few ever regretted the decision to leave. Robert Foster, George Starling, and Ida May Gladney are three of the millions of black migrants who helped transform the American demographic landscape, culture, and society by asserting their freedom through migration. As we conclude our journey through the warmth of other suns, it becomes clear that the Great Migration was a critical turning point in American history, shaping the lives, culture, and landscape of the country. The personal stories of Ida May, George, and Robert underscore not only the challenges of the migration but also the profound impact the journey had on the lives of countless black families. Despite facing numerous setbacks and hardships in their new homes, they ultimately found solace and triumph in their pursuit of freedom and purpose. Their relentless pursuit of a better life highlights the enduring spirit of these brave individuals and serves as a testament to the transformative power of the Great Migration.